Hello, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily Booster Pack 183. Fellow trainers, I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday wherever you are. Today, we're opening up a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows Pokemon Booster Pack. So let's go ahead and get started into this. But in case you're new to my channel, I've been opening up one Pokemon Booster Pack every single day now on this channel for over half a year straight. And with each and every single video, I like to try to give out two QR codes for the online Pokemon trading card game. And all you gotta do to receive a code from me personally is like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, and answer my unique fun Pokemon question of the day that I include at the end of every single video. Something I'm gonna have to start doing soon as YouTube is removing the messages, I probably am gonna have to add an extra step. Uh, like I said, uh, YouTube's removing the uh, personal inbox messaging thing, because of, of course YouTube's always constantly changing things. So I probably will actually have to set up like a Twitter account with this channel or something too so I can like send out the codes uh, via like a personal inbox message because I don't want to just be asking for people's everyone to give out their email because that's like sensitive information but we got a couple days before I got it. I can uh, figure out what to do with that but I think Twitter Instagram some other way so I can personally send messages and then probably follow the same steps there below but like I said all that said I've been wanting to say that for a couple days let's go ahead and hop into today's booster pack because yeah YouTube's always changing everything <laughs> uh, let's go ahead that card just dropped I don't remember where that one was at so we start things off with a Oh, let me bring in the focus there just a little bit um, with a Lunatone. That's really, really cool. That one just hopped out of there like that. Now, with the proper order of things, let's go ahead and start. We kick things off with a grass type energy, follow things up by a wishful baton. I've actually seen this card use a fair amount, a little a little bit in the uh, the current meta, not as popular as some other things, but we follow things up with the supporter card wiki. That's really, really cool. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if this card has any, uh, you know, it's another card where you just like shuffle uh, your cards into your hand, that, that sort of thing, if it'll be popular when the thing uh, things rotate out in a couple months. We follow things up next with the horse type Pokemon Mud Bray. He's a little, honestly, actually, he's one of those Pokemon I kind of forgot was actually like part of the 700 Pokemon or something, but he's a cute little fella. Next, we follow things up with the fighting type Pokemon Sock. That's really awesome as well. And we follow things up with one guy. I think he's like a squirrel or something, uh, Token Tomaru. That's really, really, uh, just really, really adorable. Uh, we follow things up with a very popular card in the meta right now, Wimpod, who of course evolves into Colossopod GX, a very popular deck that is still, um, I was even just looking at some different uh, TCG decks and laying out what regional tournaments were going, uh, how those were going last night on the Pokemon website. So it was interesting. He was still in most top uh, top eight decks. Uh, next, we follow things up with the dark type uh, Lolan Rattata. Followed by that, we have a Reverse Hall Araquanid, and last but not least, we have a Muzdale. So I actually don't know what I'm gonna do for today's question of the day. Actually, it was asked by a user yesterday. Um, just uh, let me know, because there's a lot of just different generations out there. Your personal favorite Pokemon generation, um, you know, there's gonna probably be a lot of people from Gen 1, but me, my personal favorite generation is probably Generation 3. That was like, I, I had played the first two generations, but by the time I was just a little bit older, when Gen 3 came out, I was able to really get into it and really just be able to like understand everything in the Pokemon world. So Gen 3 holds a soft spot in my heart. But fellow trainers, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I hope to have a bonus video out even out on the 4th of July if I edit things uh, and get things going today. And then that should come out sometime tomorrow. Uh, fellow trainers, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow as always.